Hey Sagittarius, Mariah here. Hopefully all of you guys are doing well today. I'm so sorry. It's taken a while to get you guys some content. I have not been feeling good. But I am here. And that's what matters, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. So I want to see what's happening for you guys in the month of November. This is for my single as a Pringle, Sagittarius's spirit guides, angels, and sisters. What? does my Sagittarius just need to know and I know it's kind of early if you will but your birthday season will be coming up very quickly here so I just want to wish all of my Sagittarius a happy early birthday in advance so let's get into it if this reading resonates there will be an extended you can click on the I card that should now appear in the top right corner to go over to the extended so we have the Eight of Wands. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. All right. So Sagittarius, I actually really like this. Why? Well, it lets me know in the month of November, there's a lot of movement, a lot of activity. Again, we are going to be going into your birthday season pretty quickly here. So it feels like outside of love, there's just a lot of movement, whether it's in your own personal life or romantically. There's a lot of new activity going on, whether it's you getting out and about, maybe even with your regimen, right? If you have a diet, you're trying to get your health in order. There's a lot of focus on movement here for you this month. So let's keep going for my Sagittarius that are single. What does my single Sagittarius need to know for the month of November? Spirit? So we have spy. One more. I just heard secret admirer. So, again, this is if you're completely single, there's nobody in your life, nobody in your sphere. And there goes communication. <laughs> this is actually really cool. So we got communication twice with the Eight of Wands and the communication card and Spy. So it feels like in a month of November, Sagittarius, you'll be crossing paths with somebody. A lot of communication. But this is somebody that will also be admiring you from afar. So it's like once you guys finally cross paths in life, however that may be. Again, we got the Eight of Wands. So you may be going out with friends or going out with family. Or again, you know, if you're focusing on your health or your diet or your regimen, going to the gym or taking a walk around the park or, you know, going on a hike, whatever it may be that allows you to get out and make movement. That's how you end up running across this person. So it feels unexpected, right? Again, you don't know who this person is, somebody that's completely off the radar. But again, once you do meet or cross paths and exchange, you know, information numbers, things of that nature, this is somebody that's going to keep an eye out on you. Now, in this card specifically, it does talk about social media spying, but it, it's even more than that for me. It feels like a very observant energy. So it's somebody that's really watching your minute details, right? Your body language, your tone, your diction. Things that you don't say in between the words, you know, really checking you out in all aspects. Interesting. So tell me more spirit for my Sagittarius. Who's coming towards them in the month of November? I'm using my zombie tarot deck. I just got it. I love it. Last shuffle. You know what I'm hearing? I don't know what, it's an old group. I think it might be Fleetwood Mac. It is Fleetwood Mac. Uh, go your own way. Go your own way. So this is, <laughs> and I love the song. It's an awesome song, but I, it was just very random for it to pop up in my head. So this is letting me know, Sagittarius, whether this was something very frequent, I mean, not frequent, but something that was very recent, or this could have been in the distant past, there was somebody that you had to give the boot or show the door, or they may have done that to you. However, it may apply. Again, you just take it. But either way, somebody was shown the door. Somebody had to go their own way. You exited somebody from your life. You removed somebody from your life. And now this person is coming in. So it's the energies really needed to be cleared. And even for my Sagittarius that have been single for quite a while, you've lost hope because guess what? We got the Knight of Pentacles here starting out, right? This zombie is attached to a steering wheel stuck in place. 
not moving. So your love life feels like it may have been really at a halt. Like, you know, I've done the work. I focus on myself. I've been healing. I've been trying to be, you know, all about self-improvement and, you know, really focusing on being a better me or a better version of myself. Where is my person? When's my person coming in? Interestingly enough, and again, bottom of the deck, eight of wands. So now we have the eight of wands here twice and we have communication. So this is going to happen for you pretty quickly. Things are really going to start picking up for you in the month of November. And there's a few uh, transits that are happening specifically. I think it's a full moon or new moon in Taurus that's happening on November 4th. That's really going to transition a lot of things in your life for you, Zach. But I feel like your person that you'll be dealing with has also felt the same. It's weird. It, it, both of you guys have felt like, okay, what's happening with my love life? You know, I'm stable, you know, to my, you know, whatever degree that may look like for you. I'm stable. And here comes your energy temperance. I have what I need. I have what I want. I'm a great catch. I know I'm desirable. You know, I have my things in order. I'm a good person, whatever that may look like for you. Where's my... Whereas my manifestation of my, my new love. So it feels like your love life has really felt like it was at a halt, but it wasn't at a halt. It was just moving at a snail's pace. <laughs> it was just moving at a snail's pace here for you, Sagittarius. But see, the reason why it was moving so slowly, not only because things needed to be placed in alignment for you on the back end that you can't see on the front end, which caused some form of impatience within us, right? We want things when we want it. But also, too, the person that you're dealing with has had a similar past as you. And they've had to go through their own journey. And I know sometimes when we feel like we're ready, it's like, okay, bring us our person. I'm ready. You know, speed it up now. But the person that is meant for us or meant to come into our lives next, they may have not gone through their healing journey. So it's almost a sense of needing to be placed in alignment with your person, even though it feels like you may have been ready first before this person you were kind of in a, a holding cell until that person was ready which in some degrees can feel unfair right we don't want to have to wait for somebody to be ready just send you know spirit send me somebody that's ready that can meet me but this person is coming into your life for a reason right so it feels like because we got the six of wands here the best chances for success and victory see spirit could have brought you anybody that you could have got along with, hit it off with, had great chemistry, you know, really enjoyed yourself, but it wouldn't have had the same type of longevity as this connection would have had. Because we do got the Seven of Pentacles here, which talks about investing time, right? Really spending that time, really looking at the efforts, really putting in the efforts, dedicated effort to, to really sow some oats here, to really plant roots here. So if Spirit would have brought you somebody in advance or ahead of, this person's time of them being ready could have could it have been a decent connection sure but it wouldn't have it wouldn't have, if i can speak it would have not withstood you know a long time period or the time period of what you both are wanting hopefully i'm making sense makes sense to me hopefully i'm making sense to y'all <laughs> all right so tell me more spirit so we got the four of pentacles here as well judge yep judgment Eight of Cups. Thank you. King of Cups in the reverse. Eight of Wands now coming up in the reverse. And the Six of Cups. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords. Okay. So you definitely are getting somebody that's single as a Pringle. This doesn't feel like Spirit is sending you anybody that is... In a, in a relationship or that's married, it doesn't feel like you're about to start dealing with some third party BS, okay? So that's the beauty here. Even though it's taken quite a while, it feels like, for this person to come in, it's not a third party situation, just to clarify that immediately. But I do feel when looking at these cards, the person that you dealt with, they've really been in, in solitude, not in the sense of like the hermit where they're just not really leaving out of their house and getting out and, out and about, but I don't feel like they've been really really able to emotionally open up we got the king of cups in reverse eight of cups in the upright so they they had to shut the door as well on something from their past that didn't work out or that didn't serve them they had to emotionally abandon something behind but because in this specific deck the eight of cups this woman is looking back i think there's still parts of this person that you'll be meeting 
not looking back at their past in the sense of I still miss my ex or I still miss my ex-husband or ex-wife or anything like that. But this is looking back at the turmoil of what was caused, the parts that they played in the situations, the parts that their partner played in the situations. And it's really taking assessment or evaluation of how, why, and what happened that broke down their prior relationship. And they're moving forward in the sense of looking back at what I've been through, knowing going forward, I don't want to go through that again. So it's like they say, hard head makes a soft ass. And the lessons that stick with us the longest are the hardest ones we have to feel. That's how your person feels in regards to their past relationships, right? Because it feels like they saw certain signs coming and may have not took heed to the signs that there was going to be some form of turmoil or chaos or some form of destruction in that relationship so they again hard head makes us off ass hardest lessons we learn are the ones that stick with us the longest so your person's moving towards you again they're not intentionally moving towards you because honestly for pentacles king of cups in the verse i don't think this person is actually open to love i think they're still feeling what they've been through so it's so beautiful how you two connect because it's almost a we heal each other. Not saying in a codependent way or not saying that Sagittarius, you're going to play therapist or this person's playing therapist to you. No, this is a healing sense of you now get to experience a connection coming from what you no longer want and what it is that you do want, right? Your non-negotiables, your standards and your boundaries are in alignment and correctly placed. The person that you're dealing with, Sagittarius, Theirs are too, right? Because they've been through their share of turmoil. So now their non-negotiables, their boundaries, their standards are correctly placed. So when you guys come together, you guys can coexist in a healthy, balanced relationship coming out of a space of, okay, this is what I want. This is how I, I want to be treated and vice versa. And you can really allow a healthy relationship to flourish and bloom because now you understand your shortcomings and you understand the shortcomings of other people that you don't want to deal with. It's like we, we are two people that have dealt with our share of stuff. But understanding that and understanding how we both have grown, let's grow in a correct direction or positively together. And that's, a, that's more of a healing energy that way. You know, this isn't a trauma bonding connection. This is you two really healing and being able to experience a healthy relationship really being able to experience a healthy relationship. So I look at this judgment card, which is so unique in this deck, because there's a man plus pressing this fire button, which he's initiating this bomb to blow up these zombies. This is the universe. This is spirit. This is saying, okay, we're ready to align your path with this person. We're just angling you a little bit, a little bit over to the left, a little bit more sad, or they're doing that for your person that's coming in. And then boom, we're going to press the button, bring you two together. And of course, it's not as simple as that. But that's why I'm feeling like you two are going to meet unexpectedly, unexpectedly, because this person isn't in the space of looking for love. It really feels like a fate encounter, a fated chance meeting. It's like right person, right time and unexpected. After a period of things taking forever to move in your love life, it's like, okay, finally, finally it happens. And even when you two connect, I don't even think you're in the mindset per se of analyzing this person off of first conversation of I'm looking for my wife or I'm looking for my husband. It just feels like you two just kind of bump paths and just conversate. I don't really see an opening up on initial point of contact of, this is what I've been through, and I've been through these hurts and these pains. It, it's just a simple conversation. Hey, do you know where such and such cafe is? Or, yeah, I, I, it's around the corner. I go there weekly. Really? How's the food? Oh, the food's good. What do you normally get? I normally get the Sunday special. Oh, my God, really? What do they? And from there, it just if it's very organic. It's very organic because, again, this person's not looking in. Your love life has been so slow, Sagittarius, I'm going to be honest. It's been so slow that I don't even think at this point, even though you do want that person, I don't think every person that you meet, you come across, you're assessing them to see if this is my it person, is this is, if this is the one for me. I don't think that. And that's why I'm saying this is like a chance encounter. And with the Six of Cups here, this is a soulmate. 
This is a soulmate. Again, this is somebody that was fated to meet you. But it's such a chance encounter. This is like one of those, you know, 0.1% chances that you would meet somebody like this that once you meet them and you guys connect, it's like, like I gave with the example of the conversation. You guys are just, it's like ping pong. Back and forth, back and forth. There's not a silent moment. There's not an uncomfortable silence. It's just we go from this conversation to this topic to this topic to this topic. And but lo and behold, before you know it, we just spent 15, 20, 30 minutes standing in the park because I was going on my run and they were walking their dog. And we we're just standing here for 20, 30 minutes talking about food to breakfast to cars to traveling to our you know hometowns that it's like, hold on, wait, who are you? <laughs> how do we have this much in common or how are we just flowing so easily? And I, I just met you. This isn't you know, you trying to put yourself out there to meet somebody. This isn't somebody you're going to meet online, even though we do have the eight of wands here and a lot of communication. This doesn't feel like an online meetup. Unless, this would be the only caveat, unless you weren't looking online, you may have gave up on online dating, and then you get like a random message one day. And you're like, you know what, whatever, I might as well just see what they have to say. And then like, boom, you guys click. Other than that, it's so such a such a chance encounter so what i want to do here sagittarius i really want to see how this unfolds for you so i want to see where this goes what happens next between you two because this is actually a really beautiful energy this is a really beautiful energy and this definitely feels faded and i want to see how i want to see what purpose this person has in your life and how will this evolve how do you evolve how do they evolve from this connection and what really happens down the line between you two so sag if you would like to join me because i would love to have your company Go ahead and click on the i card again or the link in the description box below we're going to take this to the extended really blow out the situation see what's going on and uh let's see what the future has in store for you too if this is where i leave you sag i love you to pieces happy early birthday again i'm sorry content has not been coming out i have not been feeling too well but i wish all of you a good day and i hope all of you guys had a wonderful holiday weekend catch you guys on the next one bye